All right, we're gonna use the spill-free funnel. I'm just showing you some of the other parts that it comes with. This is a uh, EP Auto. Make a pretty good one for a decent price. So these are the ones we're gonna use for the Dodge Charger. Okay, we got regular cap off. Put the rubber side down. And then secure it. And now, ba boom, bada boom. And now, just fill it up until about that area or so of your 50 50 mix. And now we're going to turn the car on. So now you just want to keep an eye on it for uh, any air bubbles that are coming out. I've got most of the air out of my system, so we're not really seeing anything right now. But even if you're not, just let it run for a while, just in case there's something trapped deeper in the system that hadn't come up yet. Uh, and then, you know, after it's been running for about 10 minutes or so, you don't see any air, then that should mean you've got most of it out. So, then you're good to go. Okay, also, you want to get in the car and actually rev it to about... 2000 and then you can take a look at the, uh, the temperature it should go down the more air that it comes out and just do that for a few minutes and that should get most of the air out so when you think you've got all the air out You'll notice that the level will drop a little bit too. It's a good indication that a good amount of air came out. Uh, now you want to get the little plunger. Let's go on a little walk here. And then just engage that so that we can transfer this to the coolant bottle and put this back in the coolant bottle. That way we're not wasting good coolant. See, we got it in the bottle. Oh, I need a cameraman or a stand. Okay, so I don't spill this. Just pretend with me that you saw it go in there. And now, for the excess, we have Aunt Georgina's plunger tool. I'll put a link in the description for this. And no. I don't know who Aunt Georgina is, but she wanted to be mentioned. Okay, jumping ahead, you can see we've uh, retrieved the excess uh, coolant back with that syringe. And uh, now we got the regular cap on there. And then I'm going to go ahead and rinse some of that off the water. I mean, that way the coolant doesn't potentially break down that rubber anymore. But, you know, just to keep things fairly clean. You do want to wear gloves. Uh, Coolant is nasty business. It will dry your skin out crazy bad, and it's also poisonous. So, be smart and wear gloves. Okay. Also, an extra note: uh, if you want to go super boss style, they have a, a vacuum fitting that basically fits over the same way, but then it has a uh, connection on this side of it that uh, compressed air goes through that you know creates the vacuum, and it will basically uh, be so powerful that you'll see the the hose shrink you know and that that way you'll know for sure that 100% of the air or pretty much 100% of the air is out of there this method is good too uh, I, I think there's probably still you know a bit of air in there just because it takes a long time for something that's trapped you know deep in the block or whatever to come up through but for all intents and purposes this is probably just fine uh, but the vacuum thing is just you know it's 100% and it's also a lot quicker too so I'll put a link for that and everything else you saw me use thanks for watching guys I've got more stuff coming soon so uh, you know what to do if you want to check that out and I will see you then alright be safe see you